Okay. Hello, my friends. Welcome. Good morning. Happy fourth line quality day. It's a nice day to reach out to the network. And, oh, interesting. Hang on just a second. I'm in the wrong place. It is a nice day to talk about human design, eh? Happy Rave New Year to all of you. Really glad that you're here. Mm, we are going to sign into a different place. I see some of you here in the room. That's really great to see. If you're curious, we are live streaming, streaming to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We are doing this so that we can have nice. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do YouTube today. Let's just not. Let's keep it just for you. Okay. So welcome to the BG5 Business Institute. So glad that you're here. We are in, if you go to the top of the website, special programs. And if you're here in the room with me, the Zoom room, this is your first class, either free or part of your course being you in business. So this course actually is going to be 11 weeks long. This first class is an introductory live stream, broad stream, however you want to call it, also education on how I'm going to be doing this course. So if you take a look at my screen, you'll see that the dates are all the way through April 4th. So that means we're going to be meeting every week. And in this particular special program, you're going to have homework for you to watch every week in order to get comfortable with uh, the materials that I'm going to be working with your charts with. So a whole hour of or more, sometimes it's a little bit more. My recording that I just did this past fall for the last being you in business three profit centers, it was um, we did the recording of the lecture piece and then we took a brief break and we worked with charts. This time we're just gonna work with charts. So we'll have more time to play with the people's charts who are here. I will have time to coach you through using your human design for your business. So it's best if you're already using human design, you already know how to make your decisions that you can trust. You already know um, somewhat about how to operate correctly and you're really wanting to learn how to make money using your human design. So that's what I'm going to be doing with you and giving you a kind of a teaser, a taste, taster, an overview of what we're doing. So humandesignbusiness.com, go up to education and special programs, and you'll see this image with the uh, American dollar signs on it. And the <clears throat> ability to sign up is available for two weeks and then it closes down. You can see that it's $600 or you can do two monthly payments of $299.50. And then without uh, going into too much detail, I just wanna welcome especially Kyle, Anna Maria and Mandy who are signed up for this course. Here's today's date. You can see happy fourth quality. This is about survival today. The empowerment of survival, the intuitive ability to have behavior that is in alignment with being able to survive. And that is one of the keys to this age that we're entering into, background frequency changing 2027, is about being your own authority so that you can make decisions that you trust, especially relative to doing the work that you came here for, your life's work. And so now I'm going to go into our presentation. So those of you in the room who are um, just auditing, looks like Jean and Mandy, and also Ibrahim, if you want to sign up, happy to have you join. However, you went into my advanced course of this. This would help you have more um, ability to ask me questions, though, relative to your chart, and then see how I do this work. I would highly encourage those of you who are interested in becoming a Profit Potential Certified Coach at the BG5 Business Institute to join us for one of these kinds of um, workshops. Reason being is because I'm applying the information that you learn to people's charts, and there's no better experience in human design to learn how this works than to see it live in action, either in the transits or in a human being. So this is why I do these uh, wonderful courses to be able to help you align to your unique material profitability 
And that simply comes through operating in integrity and in alignment. And that's why that's a prerequisite for this course. No other prerequisites. You can fulfill the prerequisites by taking living your design, um, human design business foundations one at BG5 Business Institute, or by getting an analysis, foundational analysis, human design analysts can give you that, or being able to get the full BG5 um, career design analysis. That's like three sessions. If you've taken that, you're in the right place. You're ready to move on to the next step. Okay. So again, welcome to being you in business. My name is Lavina Archers. We're going to be talking today about finding spirit through materialism, one of the keys to the new era or the new age. Again, I highly encourage that you sign up now so that you have the opportunity to ask questions and make sure that you're uh, in the right place relative to your business, because this is about your business. So if you're a coach, a consultant, even if you're somebody who wants to learn how to um, use your human design better when it comes to, let's say, setting up any kind of programs, you're in the right place. So right now, this current era that we're in, the era of the cross of planning, which is changing into the era of the individual or sleeping phoenix, it is the end of an age and the beginning of a new one. So the things that worked in the past are no longer going to work as we move into the future. You can already see that relative to the times changing so quickly that um, people getting trained for an education in colleges right now might find themselves graduating and not even having an industry, much less a job. So it's a really key critical factor that we have to source into the body. Your body is the life, your body knows best. Then though your mind might have expectations of what it thinks it's going to get out of a certain time or deciding factor, it's not necessarily gonna get you to where you think you wanna go if you're using your mind to run the show. So when it comes to the current era, this day and age, people are more confused and potentially concerned, fearful, scared in these shifting times. And it's no wonder the current era ends on a first quality, line quality. And that means then that they're using fear to try and be the authoritarians and tell you what to do. It's their last dying gasp, though. That's not going to work as we move forward into the future. So you're probably here in human design because you've seen how well it works for you. You know that you want something more out of life. It's fulfilling and rewarding to live life in alignment with what you came here for. And alignment really is the key. When you are operating in alignment, you are more likely to be able to attract those people with whom you have a connection to in order for both of you to either learn or share or grow or be satisfied, successful, peaceful, what have you. When you're looking at this background frequency that is coming into the fore now, the current era and current times that we're in, the new way of doing business is about aligning your material success potentials to your highest areas of profitability. So relative to human design and making money, and again, it always comes back to living life in alignment and not from fear or anxiety or confusion or frustration, anger, bitterness, and disappointment. You cannot solve the problems that you have from the mind with making more mental decisions. So the material anxiety, if you're living in that right now, it's rooted in the shadows, the shadow self relative to whether it's going to be you operating from a fearful, angry, maybe controlling place or a bitter, resentful, really unhappy place or a dissatisfied and intensely frustrated or potentially also angry place, as well as a disappointed place. Each four of the basic building blocks of humanity have their own signatures and signposts relative to being able to operate or navigate using this body as a compass, navigate in alignment so that we can course correct. 
So whenever you find yourself in these uncomfortable places, signpost to stop. Whatever you do, do not believe the mind inside of your head about yourself relative to that thought. Because anytime you're operating in misalignment, your view is skewed, distorted, or distracted. And that's never going to lead you to a place of operating at that higher octave or alignment. And it is alignment that brings in more money relative to you being able to fulfill your life's work and purpose. So I'm going to read a quote from Ra here on my slides, according to what he said about the times changing. Quote, the whole direction is going to be a shock to be able to operate correctly as yourself to operate in a world that will demand nothing less. It is a world that will embrace those of us who can operate as themselves. Okay, I'm going to pause right there. Operating as yourself is not something you can make, wave a magic wand or snap your fingers and think that, oh, I'm operating in alignment because I think I know what I'm doing. Sorry, that doesn't work that way. There is a very important reason why Raw made it so that analysts are certified after three and a half years of intense deconditioning and realignment is because that's the halfway marker to the full seven-year cycle of deconditioning. Life operates in seven-year cycles. So when you get to the end of that seven-year mark, it's not about comparing yourself to anybody else. It's not about trying to hurry or rush anything. It's not about, oh, I've been working on myself. You're not self, really. Your shadow state. I've been working on myself for so many years, and so I'm coming into human design, and I've been doing this my whole life. Sorry, not in the same way that this system really kicks you in the pants and gets you on track if you have been using your mind to run the show, that's never going to lead to where you think you want to go. Now, what he says here, quote, and it will mean a great deal of disorder and chaos and confusion to those who are lost in dependency. Everyone was nurtured in it. Everything about our kind is rooted in dependency. He's literally talking about the last 411, 10 years of how we were nurtured and matured and decades and decades and generations of people being grown up in a place where people would take care of you. You know, it's not the same thing as we're moving into this new era. You can see the governments breaking down. You can see the, the schools have lost their trust, the uh, dependencies of being able to, you know, here, take care of me. No, people aren't not doing that anymore. They're taking care of themselves. So the only person that you can trust is you. And you can't trust yourself until you're living as yourself authentically. And that takes time because everything in the body goes through a process of cellular renewal. And dependency is about giving up your own authority. You do that every time you believe the thought inside of your head about yourself that is disempowering, depressing, unfortunate, because it makes you feel angry, frustrated, bitter, or disappointed, disappointing, however it is that you think about yourself. I call it the thought you think that makes you shrink inside. That thought you think that makes you shrink inside, if you believe your mind's story, it takes a long time to get out of that place where you are identified with the I inside the head about the self, the I that you think you are, the little voice that narrates. It's actually a collection of conditioning. And that conditioning is you from birth taking in all this information that you were bombarded with, not only from the people that you were around, but also stellar background frequency, the changing planetary transits, taking that in and identifying with it as I. Okay, so there has to be some kind of decision point that you are going to commit yourself radically to being your own authority and not taking me, don't believe me, try it and see, not taking raw, not taking your government, not taking um, your parents, not taking your partner, not taking anybody as somebody outside of you telling you what to do. Now, relative to this class, you're in the right place if you do know how to decide and you still have a problem with feeling fulfilled with what you're doing for your work. 
You want to be in a better entrepreneur because you're doing your own thing. It's interesting. One of the keys to the new era is that a lot of people are going to have their side hustle or, you know, creator economy doing their own thing. And so if you're one of those people and you want to be more leveraged towards the things that are going to move the needle forward towards your material success potential, but in alignment with your passion and purpose, you are definitely in the right place. You want to increase profits, not going to promise, but you can do that with this information. You need to increase your productivity. Big issue. If you are wasting so much time and energy spinning your wheels, trying to create something that you think you want, that it's really just a temporary transit or somebody that's here in front of you that you think you should do what they're doing because it's working for them, that's a problem. The only way you're going to increase productivity satisfyingly, successfully, um, with peace or in integrity, in accordance with what's going to bring you surprise in life, it has to do with you operating in alignment. Alignment is the key. And you can't do that unless you're seeing things clearly. And you can't see things clearly unless you're coming from an authentic place. You know, the success, satisfaction, peace and surprise. I don't believe that anybody in this room that's listening to me now, whether you're here, Facebook, Instagram, relative to your recognition, I don't believe anybody would disagree that the perceptual reality that you have when you're on track versus off track is the same. Would you agree that they're the same when you're feeling satisfied do you see the world the same as when you're feeling frustrated? Of course not. You don't. So if you desire to be more successful, whatever that means to you, not that it is, you know, a certain amount of money in the bank, because money, it's energy. It, it's like prana. It's fluid. It comes and goes. It's designed to be exchanged. It's not designed to be hoarded. So when you are in alignment the ease and flow of money, it comes and goes. It is not something no longer that you are trying to constantly stress about and trying to figure out, or at least that's been the case for me, because you get exactly what you need. And it's all okay when you're operating in alignment. No longer do you have the fear and anxiety running the show. There's a deep, calm, a settledness inside that no matter what is happening, you know you can rely on yourself to make the right decision, the right choices, no matter what comes in your life. Now, if your career or business, especially if you are a human design or BG5 professional, if your business isn't thriving, then there's something off relative to how you're approaching it. You're either way too diffuse and not narrowed down enough, or you just haven't gotten to that place where everything clicks and you know what to do relative to your design, your body running the show, not your mind telling you what to do. Because again, your mind is conditioning. Now, in BG5, things are different. We, learn, we teach you to leverage the conditioning. There's a real challenge and a problem with that if you do it too soon. Okay, I was recently talking with uh, Ra's wife and uh, she wanted us to be so careful relative to when we bring this key of understanding that wisdom, yeah, is it lies in the openness, but only after you've really experimented with things for quite a while, where you're more in alignment with operating in integrity. That takes a, a shift, and it happens around three and a half years that you're starting to live more in alignment and less in misalignment. And that's why there's a time stamp relative to when we'll give you or your stamp of analyst approval at the International Human Design School. Ra wanted teachers to have a full seven-year period of deconditioning before they became teachers. And now I understand why after having gone through that myself. It is because something inside of you changes. And after seven years, you emerge quite literally a new being. You're more relaxed. You're more in integrity. You love yourself unconditionally. It's not the, if only I were richer, if only I were thinner, if only I were smarter, if only I were married to the love of my life, you know, getting all those things that I think I want and I'm waiting for that time. 
to love myself. No, love begins inside. And when you're clear about who you are and what you offer in integrity to the other, now you're set. So if you're not there yet, this is one of the programs that can help you when you're unclear about what you offer. What am I really even here for? Because one of the things I used to, um, when I was first starting to certify analysts in 2020, I used to say that we were singing each other our soul songs. You know, when you're doing analysis work, you're literally reading their genetic code, their mapping, and you're helping them come home to themselves. So on the BG5 business side, we're doing the same thing. We're just doing it on a more practical and tangible reality. I understand that if the bills need to get paid, you're like desperate to make something happen. Sometimes you compromise yourself. And I have made that same experience way back in the day where it's like, okay, I, this client, I really don't know if I can help them, but I don't have anything else on the table. So we'll go for it and see if it works. You know, that's the experiment. I'm a three. Third qualities are always trialing and erroring and, you know, experimenting to see what works. So some of this, especially in business, if you are afraid to make mistakes, you're never going to succeed in business because business is about experimenting and trying new things. If you don't bring something new to the table, if you don't experiment with new things, you're not going to bring something new out of you relative to being able to offer something unique to you. You are the only person that can serve your target audience. In human design, we call that your fractal line. Okay, you are the only person. But if you're trying to constantly, part of me, it's getting hot in here, constantly support people that huh, you don't want to narrow down your focus as an example. No, I just want to help anybody who wants to love themselves or who wants to be on track. No, sorry, that's not what you came here for. You cannot help however many of the billions of people that want to love themselves or want to be on track. You can't help all of them. You can only help the ones that you're here for. So get clear on what you offer specifically. You want solutions to your offer problems. Hi, that's what you come to Lavina for relative to what you're here for. What is it that you came here for that is your highest profit potential? That's what you're going to learn in this experience. Now, my professional recommendations, I don't serve everybody. I don't serve newcomers, quite frankly. I help professionals. So if you're already a living or design guide, a human design analyst, a BG5 consultant, or any of those on that track where you're currently getting you know, your certifications, I want to talk to you. I want to help you. I can also help anyone using human design and business, but only if you have been at a high level of experience and deconditioning, meaning you're really dedicated to this. You're not just a tire kicker. You're not just curious. You want to be able to unlock the secrets of your design, the success secrets. I'm a projector, advisor in the career and business application of the human design system. So I'm here to help you unlock your success, but I can't do it for you. You are the only one that can be your own authority. I can read the map inside and out, but I can't make your decisions for you. You are the one that has to be able to align to your path and your purpose using this treasure map. Now, I can read that treasure map for you. I can help you with that treasure map. But you're the one that needs to make the decision, push go or submit or whatever the case may be relative to the decision that you're about to make. According to Ra, quote, in the human design information, we have a treasure map. The map for each individual is accessible and available, yet it requires study in order to understand its structure. Right there. The structure never changes. What does change, though, is your relationship to self re relative to that structure, the conditioning. So when we look at learning to read your own map according to Ra and following its path, you embark on a journey into the core of your being at a true cellular level. And this is the thing that awakens you to the enlightenment, lightening the load, the enlightenment of self. 
rather that the heavy drudgery, you know, just anxiety and discomfort. Quote, over a period of time, you begin to see the changes that living who truly who you are brings. It is the adventure of life and a journey we, you and me, because you're here listening, we are all here to make. Enjoy the ride. Ra would often akin our body to a vehicle and our mind to the passenger, developing passenger consciousness. So saying enjoy the ride simply means liberating your mind from running the show, from it telling you what to do, and aligning to what the body is telling you, which most people in this day and age, you know, they're getting a little bit more savvy to the nature of being, like embodiment, being in this life, in this form. You know, your gut telling you something, your body telling you something. You know, you observe your body. Watch how it shrinks back. Watch how it leans forward. You know, feel into it. It is the precious, one precious life that it has. And your mind is designed to be a witness to that, not the one telling you what to do. So in this course, we're going to be finally balancing, reading the map, and then also checking in with you and your process. You and your process is the mo only thing that matters, not what Lavina tells you. So you can see in this treasure map, here's my design. I am somebody who is here to help you identify by being inspired to be able to empower your business to have an identity in the world. You know, what is your business actually telling other people about you? It tells you a lot, but if you're open here in this particular channel, this is PR and the business sales and the business um, ability to attract attention. If you don't have that, it's really hard for you to know what direction to go in. If you've got a two and no 14 and no one eight you, and you're having difficulty, most likely I can help you if you're really looking for some guidance or advice. And this is what I'm here for. On the other side, that's my body. On the flip side, the mind has the strength of imagination, able to laser focus in on my recognition of your feelings relative to the experience that you're having. So I recently became a certified executive coach, long time studying coming. And one of the things that I do incorporate into my practice is attuning to when to ask the right question not formulaic, but authentically. And that's one of the keys that I'm going to give you relative to this course is I've created a lot of questions specific to each one of these functions, or we call them centers in human design, functions of profitability. The white functions in your design are the ones where you're here to make money. Bet you were surprised if you didn't know that of that about human design. White eventually becomes an area of wisdom. Hi, I've been studying human design since 2012. See that totally open conceptualization process? That's where I make money. I teach other people, this is a teacher design, how to make money using human design. Material success potentials. I'm a three. Three is where we find the material plane. I'm somebody who has the capability of recognizing where the energy is in my body when I'm talking to you. But not that you're going to go and immediately, oh, go do that. Run it through your own process, your own authority. Okay. As far as getting you off on the right foot or maybe course correcting, I can help, but I can't do it for you again. We'll focus on your 64 in this entire course. You're going to get a recording every week. 64 third line ways in your design. And I'm going to give you questions relative to that particular function. And more specifically, when we come into class, I'm going to ask you to help me work with you, partner with you, collaborate with you on your business so that you can start to move the needle forward on the right activities, the right ways to go about doing what you're attempting to do, not from your mind and any other course you took that says you should do it this way, but from your own authoritative process relative to how you're here to make money. You are gonna learn how you are designed to be profitable in business. 
we all learn to make money in our open centers or functions. So stacks of cash I'm piling on my body graph. That's kind of a fun activity. Those of you who have a lot of openness came to human design and went, how come I don't have that colored in? I really wish I did. Well, now you can see one of my primary areas of profitability, part of where my life work fulfillment is relative to you is right there in that undefined energy resource, part of my life's work. I have the engine that jump starts a business as my core energetic genetic potential. Not that I'm the boss of you, not that I'm telling you what to do, okay? Now, in human design, we have generators, projectors, manifestors, and reflectors. You're going to hear me use a different word in BG5, but I would call you the great builders, my fellow, uh, my friends who are generators, my fellow projectors. You are advisors. You are the advisors who can guide. The manifestors initiate something new into the world. All you got to do is think about Ra. Look at what he initiated into the world. And then the reflector types those are the only lunar types. The rest are solar. The purpose shines through them. The reflector types, we call the evaluators because they are incredible barometers for the business, especially when it comes to the ability to recognize value in others, their position, what they're doing. So we're going to talk about these real brief as a review and overview. The builder finds spirit through satisfying response. The new currency in our new age, current C, energy flows like money flows, current C. You store it at a bank, not really trustworthy anymore, are they? Anybody's like putting money in different places just in case <laughs> because of the bank failures? Okay, so to build our world and to be re rewarded in a satisfying way, it's got to be that you're making decisions that you can trust relative to your authoritative process. So builders are designed to create our world and generate as they do so. If you are frustrated, you are not building the world that you came here to build, unfortunately. So the signpost of frustration is the thing that you want to really stop and question the thoughts that you think, because those thoughts you think that makes you shrink inside. Here's a, a common occurrence. Builders, instead of, you know, who am I for myself? Always looking out there, maybe trying to measure and compare with somebody else rather than what's here, what's really here relative to you and your process. So important that you align with you. Who are you for you? Not anybody else, not what you think you want to achieve or accomplish, but what really is satisfying for you. When you unlock the spirit within, you're going to have exactly what you require in this life. No more, no less. Ra's promise. Advisors, you find spirit through sweet success. Success feels sweet. It isn't bitter or sour. It isn't res resentful. So every time you go to that place of resentment, question the thought you're thinking because it's off track. Okay, source into your intelligence. You, as the advisor, are designed to be alphas. That is not a guarantee, and you've definitely got to be able to be in that place where you can be that for another, but it's not through telling them what to do or just assuming that you deserve to be on top of things. You are designed to work best one person at a time. So even though some of us, I do have the design that allows me to work in groups for short periods of time, comfortably with a role that is mm, respected, even if you have that, you still energetically can only focus on one person at a time. So who you are for others, first mastery a system, then mastery your human environment. And you can only do that through them inviting you. Because relative to who you are for others, you become something different depending on what they're bringing to you. It's a really cool thing. Most people who are undefined in the identity function, that yellow diamond in the center of the body graph where it's white, you will notice that you change with different people. 
but it's especially true for any of us advisor types who have the strengths at the top of that identity function like I do. You just saw I had a red um, strength, we call it in BG5, channel in human design. So you're going to see that those people actually become something more in the group because the energy funnels into them. Those are leadership strengths. The one I have happens to be creative as an expression as well. So you are very specific and way too often defined there or not. Advisors try to do what other people are doing rather than doing what they came here for. So it's such a practice. It's really a challenge, I tell you. Um, working with people and getting my mind out of the show. Oh, I could do that when I'm connected to them. I could totally do that. My mind can imagine anything. And recognizing that, no, this is theirs because I'm getting conditioned by them right now. This is theirs and theirs alone. It's not me. To be able to disassociate from where and where the line is, crossing, you know, really hard time for advisors, really hard time with boundaries and barriers, just holding that space of knowing who they are for them or for others, if they're advisors too, and knowing what I am or what I, what I be is a very different constant practice. It's different for every single advisor. So if you have only been in this for three years or something, you're still a baby when it comes to understanding yourself, especially when it comes to the advisor. Advisors, you need a little bit more help and support. I specialize in you. Please come. And I warmly invite you and encourage you to get to know this system, especially human design, so that you can be able to master your human environment. You don't have to master human design to be successful. But your human environment, knowing the others, really critical and key. Okay. Initiators, your designed manifestors. Hello. Your informing, in form, form has impact. It has an impact. And most of the time, you may not be aware of what impact you have, or you think your impact is only made when you're very angry <laughs> and you don't like that one. So you hold it back until you explode. Anger is the thing that takes you off track. It's a signpost of something being off. But if you make decisions from the anger, yes, there's some kind of boundary here. Any of these signposts of frustration, anger, bitterness, disappointment, it's a signpost you've trespassed against your own boundaries. So take a breath, take a step back. Peace is how you get to spirit. Being able to make your mark on the world in peace, meaning you are here to have the capability of freedom of action. That's your design, freedom of action. And when people don't give you freedom of action, or when you don't inform when you need freedom of action, you're probably going to have, you know, some resistance come up. So what you're here to do is the freedom to inform, to impact. I've been experimenting with, I don't have very many manifestors close in my life. I have one that's close. And she has full freedom to inform me of anything and to impact however it is that she deems is right for her. And so it's an experiment, just allowing for the freedom. You who are initiators in my classes, you know you have the freedom to inform me. But I occasionally remind, you know, especially the emotional ones. Emotional ones, slow down, take your time. What's your impact here? Yeah, having your impact is what is here to be clear. Now, our last of the types Remember, this is the core at the root of being able to be fulfilled in one's life experiment, experience. It is an experiment, grand experiment of being alive in form. The evaluator, again, reflector types, lunar types, finds their spirit through being surprised. Now, it's not, ah, everything's rainbows and unicorns. No, mm -mm. It is about, I didn't know that was there, you know, surprise, like surprise. It can show up as delight, but just being surprised by something. 
is one of those things, keynotes that brings you closer and in integrity with your alignment of purpose. So evaluators are designed to have the ability to be the central core of the organization that they are a part of, the hub at the center of things, larger business. Three to five people, not your place. 10 or more might find yourself way more surprised and actually able to be a good judge, good. Uh, the cosmic judges, Rob would say, that you are. So if you have the freedom to move in and out of groups, you might notice that you already do this. You just tend to, yep, oh, pull, got to go. You know, you just go. And you clean out that energy that you were a part of. While you're in it, while you're in that group, what happens is, is that you reflect the group itself. You're not necessarily telling other people what you're doing. You just become that shining barometer of the health of the group that you're in. So that's why it's so important that you have the freedom to move, that you are aligned to being in the right group. Because if you're in the wrong place, you're with the wrong group. If you're with a group that doesn't light you up inside, that you feel authentic with, that you can be yourself, which is surprising to you because you're yourself differently at different times of the month, then it can feel very draining, disappointing, in fact, according to what I know from my evaluator friends. Had had lo lots more evaluators personally, interestingly, uh, experience with. Now, let's talk about BG5 again. We're going to talk about form magic. This is the form magic trait. What does that mean? It means the ability to simplify things in my design anyway. This is my design again. Simplify things so that once we have, because I'm driven to correct, found the right thing to correct in you, in my partnership with you, relative to the solutions that you can experiment with. Remember, human design is an experiment. Try it and see. It's not a bunch of dogma. It is your own process. But what this design, truth, transformation, psychology, the Plutos, both of them, in the fifth line quality here, they're here to provide something of value relative to a solution. So in my practice, I vacillate between analyst, advisor, and coach. I won't necessarily tell you when I'm doing that, but analyst, advisor, and coach with the specific set of keys, genetic keys, codes that I'm looking at in your design and what you're presenting with. So let's talk about truth. One of the things that I really abhor when I see it out there are, is hypocrisy. When you're not able to be honest and in integrity with yourself, how am I supposed to know how to advise you? So please do bring me real, raw, honest truth to work with. Not, oh, I've been living my design for five years. Because that's not going to fool anybody. I help people with problems. If you have a challenge, you come to me. I can help you, guide you to the meaningful purposefulness of this life, not with the things of, you know, false realities or false fronts. So you bring me the thing that's alive inside of you at that moment, energetically. I need stuff to work with energetically, okay? That's what these experiences are for, live, in action. Now, if you can't come live to class, you're welcome to send me an audio. You're welcome to write in the forum. I will give you weekly forum prompts relative to questions. This week, here's your forum prompt, okay? Here's the thing that I want for you to please um, process this week because this is what you're going to do next week. There's no video this week, okay? What you're going to bring to me next week is the biggest problem or challenge that you're faced with. We're gonna go through each group 
um, each person in this group, what is your problem? And let's see if by the end of the next 10 weeks, we can find the solution for you to experiment with. Because again, it's an experiment. And you are your own authority. Your best boss is you. You will work harder for yourself than anyone else. So funny. Lots of people wanting to be their own boss. They have no idea how much time it takes to learn the things to be an entrepreneur. You think you can just hang your shingle after you're certified? Uh-uh, sorry, nobody's going to come running because you built a website and you started posting to all your friends. It doesn't work that way. Okay, so just let me remove those illusions of success once you're certified. That's the first step, okay? First step is to know what you're doing. Learning this, though, can help protect you from other people selling you on stuff. Aligning to your truth, guarding against any potential perceived flaws or weaknesses. Any time that you get suckered for. Now, I'm going to go back to my chart for a moment. Remember how I said, Lavina makes money with this totally open, blank conceptualization process. Human design people, it's the Ajna. I'm a sucker for education. Advisor, yeah, projector, loves to learn. Learning is part of my life's work. And on the flip side, I'm not teaching you anything new. This is Ra's system as far as how he extrapolated meaning out into the world. So all I did was study and practice, study and practice, study and practice, till I got to this place where I could teach. And now I study, practice, and teach. So one of the keys of being successful or known for something You've got to specify. You've got to narrow down your focus. Here, Lavina's talking about focus, what to narrow down on, what you really came here for. Not all the things that you think you should because it's hot right now to build a chat GPT business. Oh, do you, my friends, stop chasing every single opportunity, fourth line quality of the transits talking, that comes across your feed that distracts you away from your purpose. Look at this up here. You got a white. That's what we're going to give you the recording for next week, okay? A white inspiration function. You're chasing down things constantly and losing focus on the things that really matter to you. What's truly inspiring for me? Look, 61.3, communing with you in relationship to get to your inner truth. That is one of my material success potentials. It's a third quality. It's where I make money. It's my mental focus, okay? My driving mental focus and force. It's there when I'm talking to you. I first became aware of it when I started teaching living your design as an awakening experience in 2014. I would constantly ask, make a statement, this is this is this on the slides, and then go around the room, what's it like for you? Like, honestly curious. And I kept wondering, why do I keep saying that? There, right there. So your specificity, your uniqueness, that is the thing that's going to light you up inside. The thing that makes you want to jump out of bed. Hi, it is almost nine o'clock in the morning. That means I got up before sunrise where I live in this part of the world to be able to help you. Because this is really the thing that I've seen, not only in my life, but also in other people's lives. Because when you look at these particular functions, each one of them has a specific area of job description, okay? The reason they're colored in is because they have a job description. Your body graph, look at your body graph. It's colored in. That strength that's lighting up that function is your job description, okay? And that, all of that is going to protect you from being sold or suckered to. Now that I'm aligned with me, nobody can sell me on a different direction. I have had so many people come up to me and say, hey, you know, you really be good at that. Why don't you just go off and make your own system? No, sorry, I'm still mastering this one. Thank you very much. And it might take me the rest of my life, if not more lifetimes, because there are 8 billion people on this planet. Not that I'm here to help them all. Okay. Every chart is unique. I'm not kidding. Every single chart is different. Every one of you is different. 
And if you continually spew out generalities, you're not going to be a very efficient analyst, consultant, guide. Get good with this system if you're here to study it like me. I love this stuff. I would do it even if I didn't get paid for it. I read. I listen. I watch. This is my all-consuming passion and desire relative to how does this work in this person and this person, my fractal light, you that are coming, particularly in the times that we are in. Now, quick note. I am riffing off the slides here. I'm going to go a little bit longer. The free, first class free, 90 minutes, okay? In my classes, generally I'll take a break at the top of the hour. I don't feel like I need that. I do need a sip of water though. Hang on. I will recommend those of you who are taking this for the first time. So Anna Maria, watch last time's recording because I did it a lot more scripted and yeah, I wasn't as inspired. <laughs> I can feel I'm very inspired today. Okay. Um, honey, can you turn down the heat, please? Thank you. My lights. Whew. Okay. The times that we were in, let's go into the second part of our time together. The era of planning infrastructure, meaning the last 400 years, these tribal mechanisms to support communities, it's not just ending, it's crumbling. The rise of um, the last dying gasp of these things. Right now, there's a huge imbalance in wealth. A lot of people own the wealth. Less than 1% of the population controls just about everything. When it comes to making money, again, remember, it is an energetic exchange of value. So in order to make money, some of us literally have money makers. I have money makers in my design. Relative to your design, using it in alignment is going to be the first key. Next, leverage. Not trying to reach the 8 billion, but trying to reach those people who really resonate to what you have to offer because that's who you're here for. Not just the left angles or we call them transpersonal focus public roles, pro uh, profiles in human design. But also you who are here experiencing your personal destiny. My personal destiny is to change other people's fate. Can't do that if there's not another person in front of my life, you know? So there are, we're all like puzzle pieces connecting up to the right people at right timing. It's not anything personal if for some reason, okay, we're not together again. That's another third quality. So the slides that I went through last time uh, earlier that had this green background, I went real, real, really quickly. That's where I want you to pay attention, okay, Ana Maria? Because I went through how the functions that are colored in are what protects you from being sold to. In this particular course, we're going to only focus on exploration, not protection, what I'm calling protection. Profit protection, colored in functions, okay? Okay. I have profit protection in four places. I make money in the rest of the five. Here, this is where you need your chart. Go grab your chart. Look at the chart with me. I'm going to explain how you make money. Okay? How you make money. If you think of your body graph like your business, if you think about this body graph like a business plan. I, in the back in the day when I was really since I was a kid, started my first business. Um, I think I was 17. Okay. First business when I was 17 and being able to write a business plan. <laughs> Don't do that anymore. Haven't done that in years for this business. I'm following my invitations and recognitions, particularly when it comes to the openness. Okay. So recognition. Oh, I really like being able to focus with other people on what their inner truth is my lunar focus. That's where I'm inspired to make money on what's interesting or inspirational for you. Okay. That's how I make money, my mental focus. Okay. So third quality, my mental focus, because my moon is there. Okay. So what's in your head, your inspiration function? 
this is really key and critical because 70% of the population have that open. So you're getting sold or suckered to. And at the same time, you could make money off of that. Do it in an alignment and you're much more likely to be satisfied, successful, peaceful, and surprised. Now, the second largest area to explore when it comes to profit exploration. Oh, by the way, next week, you'll get this video. Okay, you won't get this video this week. I want you to go back and listen to the last recording and do some homework assignment for me, please. Then the following week, we're going to work with willpower or the ego heart function. This is where money is. You want to know where's the money in the body graph? Oh, well, literally the strength 2145 is about money. Okay. Money. And we need certain things in order to make money. So I have activations, one, two, three, four, in the stream of capitalism. When I partner with certain people, we can make money together. Okay? So that's one of the keys. It has to be the right person, though. They have to be able to work with me. I have to be able to work with them. It has to be aligned. You do that through your decision-making strategy. In order to make money on the material plane here with this open, you could think of it as maybe vulnerable willpower function, you've got to be so careful about what you enter into. Because if you enter into the wrong thing from your mind, you do damage to your immune system, your gallbladder, your stomach, and your heart. Because... That tiny little function right there has a lot of biological correspondence to different areas in your body, your physicality, your physiology. It's really important that you enter into things in alignment and you don't promise. Remember earlier I said, no, nope, no promises, <laughs> no promises. What's right for you? What's aligned for you? Only you will know. Only you have that capability of tapping into that source of what you came here for. I can read the map, but it's like fingers pointing at the truth. It's not the truth itself, okay? One of the things I love doing besides analyzing charts and you know keynoting, the poetry of keynoting, that you have to have some kind of capability of combining words into meaningful phrases using the formulas Ra gave us in a way of reaching across the void between you and the other to communicate. And one of the things that I love doing is keynoting. But the way that I keynote might not be how you keynote you. Yeah? Especially when you're an analyst wanting to hang out your shingle and wanting to say what you're here for. If you just say, I do human design readings. Nobody really wants a human design reading. They want other things, other things that only you can provide for them. So the pleasure of doing this work, need, passion, desire, what's inside of you? Do you like to put people on fire and light their spirit up inside? Or are you about getting them on path with their true, authentic desires? Hi, that's where I'm protected. Where you are open, you make money. So here, you're helping to confront people when the truth is necessary. The pleasure of living and life and integrity and honesty. You know, open. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember when you said that, Ibrahim. Popcorn? Yes, you are. Sorry. I just noticed that um, we had to lose one of our students. Hang on. Inspired. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the recognition. I do feel inspired. You can feel it. Yeah. A um, couple of law and protection as well as the uh, judges in BG5. So a lot of sometimes seriousness and jovialness coming out when I recognize something and I really want to communicate with you. Okay, so profit exploration, the next place we're going to go, your identity, your role. Are you confused about what your business should look like? Well, let's find your way. Not anybody else's way. Stop modeling yourself after other people's business. Your way. So many people lock themselves into a business model that maybe doesn't really work for them or has long died out. 
oh, I'm going to learn to teach people how to get certified in this. Guess what? That may not be the best, most money-making business model for you. What if you were to actually specialize into the only people that can you can help? Only people that you can help, that you are actually here for, rather than modeling your business after somebody else that you're learning from. Mm -mm. Your identity is fluid, flexible. You can really help course correct potentially. Maybe. Depends on your design. So the specificity, the keys, the genetic codes and clues that are there are going to help us explore your profitability in business. Now, survival intelligence. When you look at this one, there's a lot of fear here. So if you've got a white interfacing triangle on the right-hand side of your body, left-hand side of the body graph, that is a place where you can make money by helping people be less rigid and inflexible. How can you do that if you're still rigid and inflexible? You got to be open and fluid. Let go of those fears that are holding you back from following your gut response or your emotional intelligence or your willful determination or whatever your identity says that you are here for. Because immediately what happens when you're not operating in alignment, your mind running the show, your mind says, oh, I can't follow that gut response. What if? And here comes all the fears to the fore. Can you feel the fear, confront it, and do it anyway? Lavina has fear of failure. That's actually where I help right now people get over their fears. This is part of my path. Despite the fact that everything is changing right now, how can we maintain our tranquility and face our fears and do it anyway, even if we might fail? If you're afraid of pulling the trigger and putting out the shingle because you don't know what to say about yourself, this is what you come to me for. I'm role modeling, I'm demonstrating how I attract my people, okay? Know yourself first. Know who you are. Know what you are for others. What can you actually authentically provide? Because you're the only one who can. Help them. Face their fears. Do it anyway. As long as it's in alignment with your truth. Ooh, my favorite. Profit potential conceptualization. Open. Ajna in human design. This is also about fear, but it's about mental anxiety. So if you've got mental anxiety running the show, oh, sorry to hear. That's a real problem because biologically the correspondence is um, the pineal, uh, uh, God, pineal and pituitaries. Thank you. Pituitaries. And the pituitaries are master glands. They run everything in the body. So when it's open in you, open or defined, really, it's true. Because this is part of mind, what happens is anything that's open in your design, no planetary life aspects, whether it's in a function or in a strength, any place that's open, transit comes by, person comes by, you amplify. And then all of a sudden, Ra would put the example of they're fantasizing about the um, vacation that I'm planning. And they go off and book my vacation because they sat next to me in a bus. That's how conditioning works. He didn't have to tell the friend about the, or the person sitting there about the vacation. We do not end right here. When we're sitting next to each other, particularly, there is this communion of energy. That's why in the beginning, if you come to this, you hear people saying, let your aura do the talking. Let your energy be invited. You don't have to necessarily say anything in order to attract attention. And the thinking that you're doing, it's not up to you. It's really interesting. I was, I was listening to one of the earlier recordings of Ra 93, where he had been, you know, teaching people about this system. And he said, you're in the same boat that I was in seven years ago, in that, you know, relative to learning human design, he had the ephemeris, and the transits to watch. So you watch that and you recognize how words come out of your mouth that are not unique to you. Where did that come from? The person or the transit? 
the things, the thoughts you think aren't necessarily unique to you. If it's like mine, open, there are no original thoughts here. It is simply about re-explaining in my own way, applying, implementing. Those are aspects in my design. So here, if you're open here, your ability to explore systems or find the right systems. Okay, how can we reorganize systems of knowledge? Some of the aspects I have that are pointing at that particular place. So we're going to look at yours and see what's right for you to focus on. If we look at the power in the design, there are four functions. They're powerful, but nowhere else like this one. The energy resource, human design sacral center. The energy resource, every single trait in that function, gate in that center, is powerful. It's an element of power in your design. So powerful because the integrity of you being in alignment is part of what you're here to partner or integrate into the relational field of what you give to the other. Power, your use of power, your guidance of power, your initiation of power, however it is that you're here to be wise about that power when it's open. Remember, I'm talking to the openness here. Wise about power and the use of power, guiding other people in their energy usage if you are an advisor, initiating energy usage, initiator, evaluating energy usage, evaluator, you see? Those are some critical key aspects. I mean, it's like the cradle of life. When I look at that body graph, I see two hands reaching out to the awareness functions. And I see this, you know, supportive structure of not only small business, but also large businesses. One of the reasons why you might be really interested in business, you have activations there. Now, drive and stamina in human design, the root center function. This brings us this potential viability for furtherance of the human species. In other words, the evolution of our capabilities as human. And we are having tremendous mm, challenges to the viability of this form. So it's really critical and key, without going into too much depth as to the why, it's critical and key that you manage your stress levels. And this is one of the things that you can learn about and then turn around and teach. What I love about teaching is that when two people are connecting up and one person teaches, two people learn. In the relational dynamic of you with an other, have you ever, as an example, when you're coaching or consulting, what is the thing that most commonly comes up as advice or guidance? That thing that is your shtick, you know, the thing that you find yourself commonly giving as support or empowerment or sharing. Here is a place where you can help get people out from under the immense pressure of this increasingly pressurized world that we're living under and be paid for it. Yoga, you know, is one of the things. Stillness, 52. Yeah, waiting for right timing to move into action. That kind of thing. The drive to have ambition. There's so many different ways we could make money here. I love exploring that with you and your charts. Okay. Your voice, if you're undefined. Remember, when you're undefined here, communication and action, metamorphosis, materialization, manifestation, that all happens in spurts. So the wisdom potential of what happens here over time with deconditioning and with experience, the exploration is you can help other people with their voice, being a vocal coach, being a singer, being a translator, you know, other things that you can do is pinpoint what has yet to be said that has not yet been said and really needs to be said. So uh, I wonder if she's still here. I saw one of my um, fellow students in PTL4 when I went through it in 2016, Rachel Walmsley, come by the feed in, in Instagram. And I often tell the story, so inspiring, 
of how she's a evaluator, reflector in human design, how she would sit in a um, boardroom and just listen to what people were saying. And then at the end of the boardroom meeting, she would report to the guy in charge and be able to say exactly, you know, an assessment or an evaluation who's speaking truth because that throat, that communication and action function is here to be able to say those things that maybe have been left unsaid. Who's speaking truth? Who's worthy of paying attention to? You know, so that is a general overview. Now, in these times that we're in, moving as we are to an age where individuals, thank you, honey, must trust themselves to survive. They must. You have to, because there's no one else that you can trust. Hmm. But you, the only way to trust yourself in human design, human design for business, is to experiment with these genetic keys and find out how well it works for you. There's a common thing in a lot of the business realm, you know, marketers and such, wanting to uh, explode their business or grow their business or scale their business. And what if scaling isn't right for you? What if you're perfectly happy with what you're doing? If it makes the money that you require in order to live the life that you desire, if it allows you to do your life's work, why would you want to scale any further and add on either complexities or more vulnerabilities or many different reasons how that might show up? More stress, more anxiety, more confusion, more problems, more headaches. Why? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to scale? No, do the thing that lights you up inside. Do the thing that brings you joy and passion. In this era of moving into the individual purpose from 2027 to 2439, this is the background frequency on the right-hand side that you're seeing that is the key to the new era, not only the program itself that we're moving into, but also our keys to fulfillment of purpose. So in this planning era, as you can see, I'm just going to very quickly go over a couple of different um, differences, okay, between the background frequency. Let me pull back a bit. What is a background frequency? Have you ever heard of the procession of the equinoxes, you know, the changing of the place of where we are at, not just we as a human species on this planet Earth, but also where we are in relationship to all that is. There is a tremendous amount of spiraling happening, not only galaxy-wise, but our solar system-wise, and all of our planets just spinning and going around this particular sun as it's spiraling through space and time. So we're all spiraling. And the age that we just passed through coming to a close 2027. The age that we just passed through was responsible for the industrial age that we just went through. So you see this strength right here that is about community and bonding and fair bargains and supporting those who are less fortunate and more needy and making sure that everybody's belly is filled, making sure that you work hard in order to deliver on the promise of what a family will bring, which is we'll feed you, we'll clothe you, we'll take care of you, that kind of thing where it's affection and loyalty because this is what everybody was nurtured and, and brought up in dependence of back to that quote I started with at the beginning when we talked about raw. That's tribal life. That is support and be supported. I give you a job, you do the job, I give you a paycheck. Do you see that in the background frequency? No, you don't. And do you notice how a lot of people are getting fired, not having the job, not having the paycheck, not having the um, retirement? Whereas back in the day, that was a thing. You worked for one person, and then at the end, they gave you your watch and your retirement pension, and you were taken care of. That doesn't happen. We already see it. 
So this new era over here, see the difference? We have individuality. We have self-empowerment. I don't need your job. Thank you very much. I'm going to go be a YouTube creator and do my own thing, you know? The entrepreneurial explosion, since especially with this day and age of having um, anybody being able to set up a business online, because now we just need cameras. We've got internet. You know, we don't have to travel places. We don't have to set up expensive stores. We can just sell things from the pleasure of our home environment or advise or whatever. So there's a lot more people having a side hustle, side gig, or wanting to make their moonlighting their, their own thing. You know, back in the day when I first started work, my work career 30 years ago, moonlighting, I moonlit, does this and that, you know? Now, instead of telecommuting, we have this commuting virtually. And the empowerment of being able to translate sound through the airwaves very different than being in person with people and touching them. You see, the communal bond bargain, there's not going to be the energy for that anymore. The strength that feeds that one is breaking down, as in there won't be the adrenalized pressure for communal and family bargain bonding. You can already see it. How many people are staying wed? Because that's about love, honor, obey, marriage, till death do us part. Mm -mm. Not anymore, right? So what we're looking at in the era of the individual is sound rather than touch. It's hearing truth now. We're all attuned to listening to podcasts, aren't we? Or YouTube. How many of you watch YouTube without looking at it? Yeah, I'm listening. I'm not looking, you know, not necessarily, not really. So instead of tribal support, this new era is about self-empowerment. Empowerment. You already see it. Wanting to do your own thing. Power and charisma and spontaneity. All three. Unique individual empowerment. Now. Can't afford to wait. Let's do it now. So one of the things that you're seeing is people more incredibly pressurized to move faster and faster and to think that they have to do it all by themselves, that they can't afford to ask for help, that they can't afford to wait. So the people who are really suffering in this new era and will continue to suffer are especially those people who do not know that they have to wait for clarity or integration of information, maybe if they're splits. You know, the authoritative process of needing time to digest and wait for things. The mind thinks you have to hurry up. You're going to miss out. FOMO, fear of missing out, especially if you're undefined here, the energy resource. So it's shifting us, this strength um, from the era of planning communal bargains, community. It's part of the mystical way. So you see the shift from pressure to find God, pressure to find awakening, pressure to mm, the higher self. Not anymore. There's a little tiny piece of it. And that's the shock. That's the shock. 51 is one of the keys. See here over here? Shock. That we're going to, part of what we're going to encounter this year, because the nodes, the lunar direction, perceptual frequency of what we're seeing is going to be shocking as we move through in this countdown towards 2027. Shocking. Unexpected. It's a time of uncertainty. Don't worry. Don't give in to the fear-mongering. Fear-mongering of the homogenized world telling you you should be afraid and fear-mongering of human design people saying the world's coming to an end. No, it's not. It's shifting, okay? So, Follow your own authoritative process, not this time stamp of expiration date. 2027, ah, remember what happened in 2012? Do you? Do you remember how everybody's like, oh, 2012, the end of the earth? Oh, do you remember 2000s? Yeah, 1999 to 2000s, everybody's like freaked out. They'll do anything to keep you off track of your own authoritative process, distracting you away from your truth. Source into your body. It's very different here when you've deconditioned, when you've aligned. Now, the socialism, you can see, 
era of planning, support. Very different from, see, there's no socialism in the new background frequency. Last dying gasp of that now, because remember, this energy breaking down. The new era of the individual capitalism, a new kind of capitalism, a capitalism that is supportive of people being independent and making their own way, making their own um, empowered self come alive in the world through surrendering the mind and letting the body run the show. So in finding spirit through materialism, the thing that I want to help you with, the money or profitability inherent into the keys of your design. I'm going to go over them, how you make money as a type in the recording that you're going to get next week. So again, remember my homework assignment for you is to give me a synopsis, snapshot of where you're at in your business and how we can help support you as you move forward in this next 10 weeks. 11 counting this week. So all lectures are recorded. I'm not going to, I might have a little inspired spiel if I'm really inspired at that moment about something, but it's going to be relative to what you bring to the table in the forum. So two requests, please write things out for me so that you're prepared to either read it out loud or explain and share in group. Okay. You don't have to read the whole thing. Give me more backstory in the writing so that I have the ability to read ahead of time. This gives me as an emotional split definition person time to process where you're at before you come to class and before we work with your chart. So 10 weeks of chart analysis and coaching discussion. You're going to learn your highest profit potential. It's all recorded in case you miss it. If you have questions, you can post it in the forum if you can't come to the workshop. Now, I do need to make a comment for Ibrahim because you've taken my more advanced version of this. This is way less complex. So... The only value I imagine you would get from me doing this again is from seeing other people's examples, which I know uh, advisors really can learn a lot from seeing the work being done with another person, you know, their, their experience. So more training, I would imagine, for anybody who is auditing. Yeah. So if you're, I know Ibrahim, you're in my professional training, Mandy's in my professional training. So this is a, a nice place to be able to do that. And there is an audit pricing. So Ibrahim, you weren't in my first class. Write me if you really want this one, I will give you the audit pricing. Okay. There's a special link. So all of you who took this last semester, you're welcome to come again. If you're new, my requirements being you in business, BG5 foundations or living your design, any one of those programs will allow you into this one. Or you can have a full career design analysis or a foundational human design analysis. I need you to know how to make decisions you can trust. I will remind you, yeah, if it needs to be clarified, you're welcome to ask. No question is stupid in my classes. So that you can unleash your hidden superpowers and be able to make the money that you are destined for, that is your karma to receive that it is your great gift to shepherd or steward relative to how you're here to use that money, not, you know, but use it. Because one of the things, one of the keys is that I've learned in my purpose, my process, is I'm always constantly reinvesting in myself because they can't tax it. They can't take it away. You can't lose it. There is so much value in self-actualization. Mm, and that's what this particular system of knowledge was built for. On the business side, it's for knowing how you're here to be profitable, how you're here to be successful. Ah, the question is, how do I find out about the course? Humandesignbusiness.com. And you go over to the, I'll, I'll post it below the video. You go over to special programs and under special programs you'll see a graph that looks like um, some american dollar signs being you in business three so that you can conquer your fears and discover your money receptors we are going to work with your money receptors in this course you're going to learn your highest profitability in this course you're going to conquer 
if you experiment with it, maybe not in the course, but your mind's fear for survival of not being able to make enough money. One of the things that Ra said is that as soon as you let go and trust that human design will take care of you. I'm paraphrasing, but it struck me so deeply because there was a time in my life where I was at this like, okay, I, I'm really not sure if, am I going to be a good analyst still, you know? Um, and he said, just to let go. And one of the things that my design needed to learn how to do was let go of being so rigid and inflexible and thinking that money needed to come in a specific way. So this is not about writing the script. This is about being open to receive in alignment with your path and purpose, to get some hints or tips or tricks, to recognizing it when it comes out of you, especially if there are things that are unconscious about you that are profit areas. Unconscious about you, you have no idea you're doing it, but hey, that's one of your primary profitabilities. So why not capitalize it? so that you can let go of the fear of not having what you think you need or want physically, emotionally, mentally, or even spiritually. If you know me, I do like to have a lot more of a spiritual focus on my practice to combine the material world with the spiritual. It's one of my happy places. So using this system really knocks it out of the park for me so that you can unlock your success secrets of your design. Find that golden egg. It's usually not just one thing. I happen to have three areas of primary profitability in my design. And in fact, all of them that are hanging dormant potentials are going to be areas of profitability so that you can know where you're here to quit and let go and have proof and improvement be something that you are helping the other with to help them to inspiration, to help them let go of the uncertainties and really sell what's certain. So back to that story I told you about how I personally use Raw's system to educate people. I'm a sucker for education. I turn around and educate people, one of my primary areas of profitability. So when it comes to the openness, what truly is a valuable, in this case, where conceptualization is, concept, something that you can experiment with, validate, test, and see. I can still remember that first day and the client and the moment when I said something, I had no idea what I was saying, and they went, how did you know that? I have an unconscious communication and action function. So sometimes the things that come out of my mouth, I won't be able to exactly repeat what I just said. I might be able to reframe or make it deeper for you, but because I'm coming from that authenticity of my direction and it's speaking from this place of the mind just getting out of the picture. This is something when the body takes over, the form dominates, okay? So when you're looking at a body graph, personality is your personality construct. Thank you, Sarah, for the recognition. Personality construct awareness is something that is watching the body, and the body is the life, the physiological reality of this form. So that was an example of just going into that place and, and attempting to communicate something so valuable and so precious to you that is an experience in me that I want for you, that I, I wish for each of you to be able to disassociate from the conditioned adaptive strategies of mind and just let the body do the life. And as you watch, one of my uh, coworkers used to say, um, your design does you. And I liked that. Your design does you and it dominates. It runs the show. It is way more heavily weighted. Think like a computer. Yeah, the desktop computers compared to the floppy disk. Oh, showing my age. Compared to the CD-ROM or the DVD. Okay. Very different. Weight. The body has weight. Let the form, let the body, let the aura, the energy, do the talking. And when you come to whatever class it is that you decide to start with, we warmly welcome you. Yeah. If you are, again, ideally a guide in training or a certified guide, analyst, consultant, human design analyst, BG5 consultant, I really love working with you. So 
anyone human using human design in business, if you're not certified yet, but you really want it for you, I'll also accept you, but just know that you need to be able to know how your design works from a very clear level of how you make decisions. And I can help you to ensure that you're on track. So this is about, remember, to be a successful human design professional. It's not about book learning. You could learn everything that Ra ever said as far as data, everything in the definitive book of human design, and still give a really crappy analysis or consultation. You have to live this knowledge. It has to unlock your own genetic codes or keys and observe your own way of how either taking it in or applying the information actually changes you. It changes you on such a deep cellular level over time that if you were to look at the person and listen to the person that I was in 2012 before I started my own deconditioning process or experience, you would not recognize her. When the teacher is ready, the student appears. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. Hallelujah. Our auras communicate. Okay, even across airwaves. I happen to have one of those sensitive designs where it is fifth tonal cognition on the body side. So resonant frequencies. I can feel things even if it's not right directly in front of me. I feel it in my body, interestingly enough. It's a feeling cognition. So the auras communicate. Transauric entities don't create over the airwaves, but space, time, distance, I mean, come on. We are all one human, it's between different people, but one human populace. And each one of us has a structure or an imprinting, a genetic framework, and certain people are designed to come into your life at certain times. You can trust that. You can trust it so deeply. All you have to do is look, okay? So get your mind out of, what if I don't have anything, people, fractal? You, everyone has a fractal, okay? I'm on the furthest reaches of the fractal line, and I have a fractal, okay? So you don't have to worry. They're just waiting for you to get to that place where you can now give to them, and you're the only one that can do it. I can't do it. I don't have the karma that you have with that person or the connection with that person. You don't have to be afraid. When you are aligned correctly, that's when they start to resonate or harmonize with you and come into your view or your connective field. Your human design is what creates and represents the magic of what this creature form is here to experience. So next week, besides introductions, um, we're going to also have chart work. Right now, real brief, sorry, I'm a little bit late. I'm gonna go to the orientation and I warmly encourage you to sign up now. I'm gonna shift over, you're welcome, Eva, and shift over into our course area so that I can show you um, where to go. And then we'll end the live stream and any of my students here, you're welcome to ask any questions. Okay, so when you're in your course area under my subscriptions when you're signed in, you're going to enter the classroom at the right time here, okay? Now, introduction, that was this class, the first class free. There is also an older recording from the last time I run it, ran this. You're welcome to watch it. Don't have to, but you're welcome to. And then next week, you see how it says profit by type and inspiration? That's the video that you're gonna get. Okay, you're going to get that video. And then the following week, it's willpower, emotional intelligence, or identity and direction, survival instincts, conceptualization, energy resource, drive and stamina, then communication and action. And because I will have given you class 10, Thursday, March 28th, we're going to do one more bonus class. So this class is actually a week longer and we have more time to connect. So class ends on Thursday, April 4th. The deadline to sign up, oh, I don't like that word. The time to get in is hopefully by next week, if you can. If not, Thursday, February 8th is when this course will be taken down for public registration so that you can keep up with the materials and so that we have a nice group, cohesive group. Okay. 
Ibrahim is sharing, thank you for mentioning. Yes, I could deeply feel your inspiration, which confirms and clarifies the hunch I have since I came across your material two years ago. You will join the Profit Potential Certification this year. That's yeah, the gold in this. I love that course. Thank you for putting this work out there. You're very welcome. It is my pleasure, honor, and such a gift to be able to use this information and apply it with new people and link things. It's There's nothing like it. So thank you for being a part of this. I couldn't do this work without people like you taking classes from me because I wouldn't be able to be successful and continue to invest in my own development, not only spiritually and um, educationally, but this financial ability to make a living doing what I love. It's the greatest gift ever. So thank you so much. We'll see you next time. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else I have to share with you. If you have questions, please feel, feel, feel free to type into the chat or raise your hand, my dear students who are here. But for now, those of you on Facebook, sorry, which one's Facebook? Facebook and Instagram. Take care. See ya. Finish. And end. Okay. Now we're good. Mandy, you're excited to be taking this again, knowing it's going to hit me with a deeper understanding. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm so ple pleased that you joined, you know, really, really grateful. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I think Ma a Anna Maria. Yes. What question do you have, honey? Hello, Lavina. I just, Hi. I'm curious at the moment uh, if this is um, the same rule in BG5 as it's in uh, human design mm -hmm. that uh, in order to really live our full potential as a in the, on the business side, that we have to wait or wait for three and a half year until we really see the difference <laughs> we... <laughs> yes and how you do we count that because it's I, just like uh... th think about um at the international human design school you know the living your design guide certification yes it only takes one and a half years you're still not deep, fully deconditioned if you started at the beginning of, oh, I found human design, now I'm in classes, yeah? Same thing on the BG5 side. You can get certified in one and a half years, but are you really going to feel the difference of experimenting? Probably not. Some people are faster than others, though. Um, pure sacral generators, much faster to feel the differences and changing the body or the direction then like say, uh, I'm a wide split and also emotional. It took me a lot longer to really shift over the genetics. Just like everybody grows differently. Everybody also too has a different deconditioning process. The closer that you get to that seven, seven year cycle, the more you will notice the difference. Now that's not to say that you can't be successful before then. It's just that you're going to notice a difference in your body. Uh, I noticed that the eighth year was really different. And some people say that it's harder, the second cycle of deconditioning, because you're still always getting conditioned. It's just that that first reorganization of one cellular matrix to let go of the stuff that's not you and to align to the stuff that is life-serving and life-supporting of you, it makes a huge difference with every year that passes. But the certification does allow for now um, a year and a half and then you're or two years almost and then you're certified at, at BG5. Does that help? Oh yes, it helps. Thank you. Okay. Still, when do uh, since, so how do we count these uh, three and a half years? When do From they the start? Moment, it starts when you started either rave ABCs oh, or okay. your 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 human design foundations, BG5 foundations, about halfway through that, that's pretty much where you get the information that, okay, okay now I'm studying. Or your, your analysis. If you did your analysis and you really went, like you got a foundation reading and you really put that into practice, that's the next layer if you're not going to get certified, okay? At, at ABCs, we pretty much know, hey, they, they got the bug because they went through a reading and a class and they're committed. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here and spend more money, you know? Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. My pleasure. And congratulations on joining us for analyst training. I'm so excited that you're joining us for that, well, too. 
Thank you. You know, yeah. I was convinced I, it's not a good idea for me to do that because it's a long-term learning and I'm really uh, tired of learning. I'm a PhD and really can't, can't uh -huh. I don't want education anymore. It's what yeah. I said until two, two days ago. And when I finally got really clear, emotionally clear, it was such a calmness when I wrote the email to, to your office. I didn't even wait for an answer positive or negative I just felt so calm and clear mm -hmm. that uh, I do anticipate I, I, I anticipate this work as analyst I already saw myself doing this and I can't do that by reading Ra or listening to you mm -hmm. and but the, the clarity and the calmness of the decision was such a wow a wonderful feeling itself so I wanted to, to tell you that oh thank you I'm so, so glad to hear it, it, it is you. such an experience yeah you're welcome it's such a gift um there's nothing like analyst training and of course you know for you to be able to have the experience of it it changes you it, like, immersing just really dedicated it changes you on such a deep level to not only taking in knowledge but actually applying it with your fellow students uh mandy's in there too uh kyle i believe is there too so yeah it's it's just such a gift thank you okay and in pg5 do you still teach in the professional uh, classes or only in the foundational no that's I, I, I yeah i i do have classes at bg5 too mm -hmm. i have um a class coming up in May that is the foundational level and also the um, certification level will be in January of the following year. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you, my friends. We'll see you next week and see how it all goes. It might be 90 minutes. It might be two hours. So just a lot for that. If it's only just us, it might be an hour. You know, we're done when we're done, um, when we're gone through everybody's charts. So uh, that's it for now. Take care. Bye. See you next week. Thank you. Goodbye. You're welcome.